Hi, I'm Margaret from Margaret's Crafts. I wanted to share with you my knitting and crocheting that I've been doing over the past few months. I haven't been doing as much crocheting, but I still have been knitting. Uh, if you see me looking down, I'm just looking at my notes. Uh, what I'm going to start out with is a finished item. And for last month, this was the, um, the Gray Sparkle Cow by Bridger. It's called the Bridger Cow by Chris Basta, B-A-S-T-A. Uh, I use Lions Brands Vanna's Glamour and Silver Gray in U.S. size 10 or 6.0 millimeters. It hasn't been washed or blocked or anything yet. I just have it all done. Uh, when I saw you before, I had it done. You start at the bottom, and I had it done up to here. So I had finished the cow, and this is how it looks on. It comes down. And the, uh, the lace print is just in the front. It stays up really nice, and it'll fit nice and flat up underneath my coat. And it's just, uh, you know, just a knit stitch. And then it has the lace that goes around the bottom. But it hasn't been blocked out or anything yet or stretched out because it stretches really good. And that's my only finish that I have. Now for my works in progress or my whips. Uh, I might as well start with my crocheting because it's right here. Uh, this is the Basket Weave Diamond Throw by Bonnie Baker. And the yarn that I'm using is Red Heart with Love and Water Lily and Lettuce. And this is where I have so far. I'm using a USI a 5.5 millimeter or USJ, a 6.0 millimeter hook. And that's how far I've gotten on it. Uh, I was here the last time I showed it to you. And so I finished that section right there. And I that was the end of the row. Then you start the repeats, and that's how far I am up on the repeats right there. And I've been kind of doing after so far that I work on. After I finish a, a roll of repeats, then I will do my ends in because I'm changing colors on this one. Just putting the uh, water lily in with the... Uh, the little lump rows. So this is what I have so far. Let's show you better this way. That's beginning. The lattice. The diamond weave. And I'm starting back again, which is going to be the basket weave. <coughs> Excuse me. And the next item I have is a new item that I started. And these are thus made on the version of the Simple Skype Socks by Adrian Koo and I'm using Patton's Croy Socks TX in Cascade colors on a US 2 or a 2.75 millimeters. I have one sock done and 
I just did a like a one and a half inch ribbing. Uh, then I started into the pattern. I did the fish lips kiss heel. And then down the foot. My son has a very, very large foot. And then the toe. And the toe pattern I use is from Hermione's Everyday Socks toe pattern. That fits our toes really good. And so does this fish lips kiss heel. And here is the uh, color with the patents croy. That's the extra ball because he takes more than one ball per per sock to do his um, uh, to do his socks. So it takes about a ball and uh, a little less than a half, about a ball and a quarter. And so now I've I've gotten the leg done on his other sock, the fish lips kiss heel in, and then this much of the foot is in. This is my on-the-go projects when we're sitting at doctor's appointments and stuff like that. That's what that, that's what I take with, to work on this one in. Because I have just this little cosmetic bag because it like squishes up so well. That it, I can squeeze it down and put it in the bottom of my purse. And the next item I have is another new item. And it's the flax sweater by Tin Can Knits. And I'm using those uh, loops and threads uh, yarn that I had showed you that I had bought. Uh, you know, there were two skeins and a package at uh, Michael's. And I'm using the color is black. And I'm using it on a US 6 4.0 and a US 8 5.0. And this is what I have so far. I have, <coughs> excuse me, I have the, uh, it's knitted top down. So I have the ribbing in for the neck line. I've already separated, as you can see, they're on holders. Well, the one is uh, for the sleeve. And then I have this much of the body done. And when I get tired of just going around and around and around on the body, then I have my sleeves on holders. So I just picked up, you know, put the uh, my needles on the sleeve and then just work down the sleeve until I get tired of working on the sleeve for a while. Then I'll pick up and I'll do the bottom for a while. But that's how much I have of the sleeve to do. I have another, I think, five repeats of decreases. And then I think I do the um, uh, knit to the length that I needed after I have him slip his arm in. And um, then do the, by, the, the ribbing around the, uh, the wrist. So that's what I've been working on here. And like I said, I have these on um, holders. So I can just pick those up. I don't do waist yarn. I try to do holders so I can just easily pick them up. I don't do good with picking up on the waist with the waist yarn. And that's how much that's what I've been working on mainly. And that's all the knitting that I have for you, uh, my my works in progress. Uh, as far as my goodies, I only have one thing, and I just picked up like another set of um, the needle tips, and I use the um, the Chagu uh, twisted lace tips, and I'm trying to complete my set, and this one completed my set. Now I'm starting to get doubles, like because I could be just leave the needles on. I only have one tip of um, uh, the one size that I, you know, those sizes. So I'm going to get probably two more because I like the way the sweater's coming out. This one's for my husband. I think I'm going to make one for each of my sons. And uh, 
there's down the sleeve. I don't know if you can see it. The patterning down the sleeve. On black, it's not showing up. And um, so I'm going to get two of each needle so I can have one on the bottom and one on whatever sleeve that I'm working in. But that's all I have. I just picked up the, uh, the uh, uh, another set of tips, but I'm going to start getting doubles. I do have doubles of the size two, and I'm going to go ahead and get doubles of the larger sizes too, because I really love these, uh, the Chagoos, the red twisted lace. These are my go-to right there. Now I have the whole complete set because when I bought them, I started off with the, the starter set and it was all the lower numbers. And then I just picked up and got the upper numbers and got all kinds of uh, extra cables. And that's all I have to share with you today. Thank you very much for watching my videos. Bye.